Hey everybody, it's Jake Brown from General RV. Welcome to our virtual showroom. Let's take a look at one of our beautiful units. Thanks, Jake. Hey everyone, Matt with General RV. I'm standing in front of the 2021 Forest River Ibex 19 MBH. I'm really excited to show this to you guys today. This is one of the newest segments in this market. And I think Forest River did a great job of bringing something definitely different that we don't see many of in this, in this smaller travel trailer market. Um, this is definitely the outdoor adventurous perfect unit. Let me show it to you really quick, come on. So one thing that sets this trailer apart, especially when you first see it, is the ground clearance and the height. This thing stands a bit taller than everything else that's out there. So, and the reason why is because Forest River wanted to give you that option to take it wherever you want to take it. Part of that too is the 15 inch alloy wheels wrapped in those great looking all-terrain tires. So that'll help you definitely get through anything you need to get through, mud, snow, deeper stuff. These are great. Not to mention great looking too. Um, one thing they did incorporate really well is bringing all your outside activities, keeping them outside instead of moving to, towards the inside. A lot of people like to spend time cooking out here and doing that, but the room and the space tend to be a tight fit. So what they ended up doing was came out with this ingenious system for this storage, almost this tray system, in addition to the grill top, where it's easy on, easy off, simple, but it doesn't take up a whole lot of space when you're not using it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this table, this cooking top table here, will just come right off. There's no attachments. It latches on this rail that's on the side. Same thing with this Suburban propane cooktop grill, which we just hooked up before we started filming. Really quick, really simple, great use of space on that too. Um, they also have two 110 outlets on the side when you're hooked up and a spray port so you can hose off before you jump into the coach. Solid, solid fold steps in there, easy in, easy out. Um, they'll also have adjustable legs on the bottom as they all do. That way, in case you're not on level ground, you can make sure it's level when you're getting in the unit. One awesome feature on here is with traveling as you would in this adventure type, you want to make the best use of space that you have. So a lot of people will bring along with them bikes, kayaks, and whatnot. But the problem is, is keeping the space for everything else in addition to those bikes and kayaks. So this has the option, it should say standard on here, to have your bunks in here, but then you can also change this bunk compartment into a great storage compartment. Easily accessible from both the outside and the inside and plenty of space. I could probably fit one bike in here very comfortably. Um, in addition to that, you have the rack on top, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Great use of space there, easy access, great feature. Heading around to the back side. All Ibexes will come standard, of course, with the spare, and the spare matches the four tires in the front, as you can see, and a roof ladder. Now, the reason these are standard on here is, is Ibex also added a roof rack on the top. So it actually has a Rhino Rack RVT track system. That way you can add attachments for skis, snowboards, bikes, mountain bikes, whatever you'd like, and it doesn't take up space either in the trailer or in your tow vehicle. Great addition. Forest River also wanted to make sure that they, this unit was a, a, a great unit to take no matter what kind of conditions you're gonna throw at it. A lot of trailers on this size won't have enclosed underbellies or even heated pads. This one actually will. So I have heated gray tank, black tank, and your fresh tank, in addition to a heated enclosed underbelly. And one thing which you never see is enclosed termination valves, which means these termination valves here are up, tucked in the underbelly, closed off, heated, won't freeze. Great feature there. The small things are really what sets trailers apart, and I want to show a couple of things on this too, because they really thought this out. So whenever you're camping, you're hooking up, you unhook from the tow vehicle, this always hangs out, your, your plug-in. So there's a great little spot they added here, little storage, keep it off the ground, out of the dirt and out of the water, tucks away perfectly. Another thing, is your disconnect, your battery disconnect. A lot of times we sometimes forget that our battery's connected and it might draw if we leave it somewhere for a long period of time. This eliminates that issue. Quick, simple on and off, controls a whole power 12 volt from here to the entire coach. Smart move there. Power tongue jack is included on here. 
Another thing which we've been seeing more and more is these front windows. Now this is not plastic. This is actually an automotive grade window in the front. We'll take a look at the benefits of that on the inside. Now, first thing that I wanna talk about on the inside here is the storage. One thing that is always tied on a trailer this size, like I mentioned on the outside, is the amount of storage that it has and the lack of. I think Forge did a great job with this, and I'll show you a couple things. This is a 19 MBH, so it is a bunkhouse, as you can see with the flexibility to have the storage, but that MB also stands for the Murphy bed. So you have also, in addition to the dinette here, you have a great seating area that's easy to use in addition to being very comfortable. Not to mention the bed on the other side. So let me show you how this works really fast. Once you're done sitting, lounging around, couch folds down. It's a little latch to pull up top. Fold it down. One thing that you'll notice right away is how much natural light that front window gives. That's a great feature on this trailer. Makes it all the difference in the world for lighting in here. Um, walking around in the inside, we have our standard sink in here. Makes the best use of space with a cutting board built in right on top, which is nice. And then you have your two burner propane stove and your microwave is tucked down here. Now, this you never see. Centralized vac system. So this is great. So once you track everything inside, when you're doing your, your adventure stuff in the outside, it's easy to go ahead and lift this up. This is a dustpan, so sweep everything up. It turns on when you're plugged into 110, sucks everything into the bag. Or you have this attachment port. This is like a regular host system at home. Plugs right in, you get a handle, attachments. This is great. Not, we don't see this very often at all in many of our travel trailers, if any of them right now, currently. Um, six cubic foot fridge, Norcold. Great space in here too. Plenty for the weekend or a long week. Bunks are double bunks. I have this folded up right now for storage, but of course this bottom bunk mimics the top, top bunk. And then great bathroom size too. More storage over here. in addition to having additional storage up top. One thing I'll also notice, point out, is this control panel here. So obviously you have the gauges for your gray tank, your black tank, fresh water, and battery, in addition to having your water heater, water pump. And then here's something different, which I mentioned on the outside already. You have all three tanks have heating pads on them. That way you don't have to worry about freezing. This will also, the dinette here will also fold down into a bed in case you have extra guests that want to come in addition, of course, to the bunk beds too. Plenty of sleeping space. These are also comfortable when you're, you want to sit down and eat. Another big item that I want to note too is this big panoramic window on the side, which opens up quite a bit. I think a lot of trailers, especially this size, the lack of windows really closes them off and makes them feel a little bit tight. This eliminates that problem. In addition to having these windows over here on the side that open up, so you have the cross breeze, which is a big deal on here. Um, a lot of this coach will run off the 12 volt system, but it will have that 1000 watt inverter, like I mentioned too, that standard with that 100 watt solar panel, that 10 amp solar controller as well. The controls for the inverter are actually right here. So everything's really simple, really close, plenty of plugins, USB ports, storage in the back there too. There is a big slide for the window in the front, which is nice in case you want to close it off when you go to bed. Great trailer overall. This is something we haven't seen in the market yet. Definitely for those who love that adventure in the outdoors. A couple of things I want to mention as well on the construction of this Ibex. So the sidewalls are also made of Asdel which is another alternative to fiberglass. So the great thing about this is the Azel component is also lighter. It's better for sound deadening. Also climate control in terms of keeping the heat inside or the cold inside, depending on what, what type of climate you're camping in. And not to mention it's resistant to 
uh, to delamination. So in, can, in case any water intrusion happens, you're not gonna have that bubbling that you'll see sometimes on the outside of fiberglass trailers, which is a great, great piece of this. Um, in addition to that, I wanna mention the overall weight of this unit, dry as it sits right now, is about 4,100 pounds. So this can be towed with many mid-sized SUVs. Grace it, makes it a great option for families that have that SUV that wanna be that possible that weekend warrior with it as well. So overall, great trailer. I think Forrester did a phenomenal job on this. It definitely meets a part of the market that we don't see too many trailers like this in this segment. So happy to carry it. Head on down to one of your General RV Super Centers by you or check us out online at GeneralRV.com. Jake, back to you. What a beautiful unit. If you haven't yet, please go to GeneralRV.com slash virtual showroom to see more RVs, travel trailers, motorhomes, and fifth wheel tours. We'll see you on the lot.